Welcome back everybody for another round of Subnautica. Now, last week we looked at two of the precursor casters that only require a purple artifact. There is one more in the dunes area, but apparently it's very easy to get to like the other two were. So during my research this week, I found that there was a precursor facility, an actual facility that I've missed uh, when I was traveling previously in the episodes with the Cyclops as far as a mobile base. So for today, we're going to head back to the inactive lava zone base that I built. But on the way, we're going to do some exploring in the Lost River and find their disease research facility that somewhere around that big set of giant rib bones and skull in the Lost River that apparently is supposed to be pretty big, but somehow I didn't see it. So we're going to head there now and see what we can find there. Okay, I finally made it down to the big rib cage. That's the direction I just came from. And so I'm just going to scoot along the side of these right here. I'm running in silent mode. Uh, so I don't draw attention of those guys. I don't want to have to be sitting here constantly repairing hull damage. Okay, so we are on the right track. I found something new. It's a big skull. Uh, some creature had seen before. And we have precursor technology. And I'm out of power now, thanks to the crab brain thingy. Uh, all right, let's go. Uh, so we have some precursor tech and a big cavern with stuff that looks like it's a research location and this is supposed to be a disease research facility. So it stands to reason there's some other precursor tech uh, location around here so I appear to be on the right track and I've got damage again to my hull ever since this update came out where they made it easy uh, made it possible to damage the hull on the Cyclops they have made it where the Cyclops and the sea moth get damaged so quickly I mean the sea moth especially I bump into a few fish and it's halfway destroyed it's ridiculous how easy these things are to damage now and there we go that's what I'm looking for a doorway and do I still have I don't have oh what hey leave me alone buddy I'm just scoping the place out got my artifact putting it in there you go thank you hey hey hey, hey. Yeah, oh can he get in here Alright, so let's check this out. I'm scanning everything I can. So I got a bone specimen case. Alright, so yeah, they got uh, body parts that they've been studying. Flora specimen case. Surprisingly, as old as these should be, that they are still perfectly intact. Uh, alien research equipment. Well, that's generic. Alright, and we got something here. Something, you know. Ah, data terminal. Alright. Fauna reproductive data. I'm going to go ahead and scan this. Apparently, I haven't scanned ion crystals. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Okay, so it doesn't appear there was anything else in there. But now I've got some stuff. Uh, oh, I got the ion crystals. I need to clear these out. I really do. Uh, let's see. Bone specimen case. Floor specimen case. Research equipment. Specimen gene manipulation. Okay. So yeah, I still need, this is what I need to find. I need to find the disease research facility. That's what I'm looking for because that is the one apparently where they were chopping something up, trying to test out things against the Karar bacterium and then it got destroyed. So this does not seem to be that location. 
Okay, so apparently this location is called the Lost River Laboratory, and I still need to find the uh, disease research facility, which is somewhere in this direction as well. Anyway, so I guess there's nothing left in this cavern here. Uh, it's time for me to slowly maneuver my way back through there, and hopefully I don't get attacked too much by these crab squid thingies. Whoa! That was a new one. He like jumped right in front of the camera. I hadn't seen that happen before. And they are bumping into me like crazy. What? Why am I so interesting? Hey. Well, thank you for that. You just, uh, you shocked my attention enough awake to see that, hey, there's a precursor base right there. So thanks, you little skeleton fishies. Uh, all right. So it looks like if you come down, like we went to the uh, inactive lava zone, Back up that way is the big daddy skeleton. Come down here, we got this little skeleton. And then right over here is a precursor facility, which I'm assuming is the disease research facility that I have been looking for. That place is all messed up. So we are at the right location now because I already read that, yes, the disease research facility has sustained damage because of a creature destroying it and so this is it now it's time to find my way inside and you can stay away from me whoa 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 hey alright so that's one thing I'm not liking with these warpers is they'll attack you and if you're inside your sea moth or prawn suit they'll warp you out of it and oh my health is Gone. Detecting an alien broadcast. Link waste economicus reads. Oh. Caution. Hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Man, that was the first time I've had one of those warpers do that kind of damage. So let's see. Uh we know there's dangerous life forms within. I need to start using my uh, grappling hook a little bit more too. Okay, found my way in. It's on that side towards that opening over there that has, you know, the wreckage in it. And let's see what we can find in here. It's probably going to be easier for me to maneuver around without the suit. Now, obviously, interior walls in this section are substantially reinforced, indicating the designers were oh. eager to keep something out. Or contain it within. Okay, so. So, yeah, they were trying to keep something in or out, one or the other, and it didn't work. Now the place is destroyed. Uh, so, you can't scan that? No, I can't. Can't scan that because I've already scanned. The research equipment at the laboratory. Alright, more crystals. Data download. And yeah, there's a... Okay, some kind of aquarium containment thing there. Aha, yes. We come in here where it's been broken. I'm not sure maybe they were, like, containing something here. Maybe they were, uh... Searching, like researching this big pile of skeletal remains. Huh. Residual biological evidence suggests that indigenous life forms were brought to this location and Ah, yeah, so they were doing research here on gene manipulation. Oh. The hello. Mr. Warper butthole that likes to attack me in my suit. Uh-huh. Let's see. What else can I get here? Oh, wait. That's right. I want me to do a cell scan. Let's scan real quick, see if it's changed. Oh. Oh, it's in my pulmonary system. Whoa. 
Okay, so now I've got an update. Now my hands are going to be all glowy and great. Oh, look. Now I'm never going to get another date. God, they're going to see my, my glowing warts. I, I've, I've got to find a cure for this now if I ever want to have another date. Oh, well, I didn't get to drill them. <laughs> got him. I got him. I pinned him in the head and it made him flip around as I dragged him to me. All right. That works for me. I I'm happy with that result right there. I'm going to get back to the Cyclops so I can drop the prawn suit off. I'm going to get the uh, purple artifact and go see what that data download is. Okay, so I got the data download, and all it was was a signal for an alien thermal plant. Meaning, the thermal plant I've already visited in the inactive lava zone and built a base, you know, within relative eye, you know, shot of it. So, uh, that's where I'm going to head next and get uh, everything put up there. You know, get set up, recharge, which I really don't need to recharge much until I run into these stupid lava larvae. But you see how many ion crystals I have now. And I've got two ion power cells in storage. And I've got six right now in use. And check it out. 6% power consumption so far. 6% for everything I've done since I left the base to get here and find this. So aside from those lava larvae leaching off the ship and taking away power... I am totally good for power in this thing right now. You know, that's it for this episode. Uh, next episode will be uh, another quick little run, just going from the uh, base in the active lava zone down to the uh, containment facility and seeing what we find there. But thanks for watching, and make sure you leave a comment. Let me know if you got any tips for what to do down in the uh, containment center. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to hit like and leave a nice comment below. Also, make sure you hit subscribe so you can follow my channel and keep up with my content that I'm posting six days a week right now. You also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.